I'll stand and go before the Lord in prayer. While we're praying, please let us remember we have a prayer request that we submitted by Sister Mosel. It says, pray for Ashley. It says, praying for Ashley, asking that the Lord, for the Lord to help her pass her basic training in the Navy. Amen. Amen. So let us please remember that sister in prayer. And also let us please continue to pray for Sister Ruthie. Amen. Amen. The Lord will continue the healing process in her body. Yes. And also let us pray for Sister, Sister Virginia, Mother Virginia. She's not feeling well, so we pray that the Lord will heal her body. Yes. And also let us continue to pray for um, all those that are sick and shut in and all those that are affected by the pandemic. Pandemic, bless them, touch them. And also let us continue to pray for Pastor Morrison and the Morrison family. And also let us remember the, uh, Sam and Shot. I mean, uh, what's that name? Sam's family. Sam. Sam's family. In this time, in this, this time of loss, please let us remember them. Amen. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by the raising of your hand? God is acknowledged. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace to receive mercy and help. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind to a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord Jesus, to press our way out to the house of God, Lord. I want to ask, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe from both dangers, seen and unseen, for your angels that you have kept around about us, Lord, guiding us safely as we travel over the dangerous highways and byways, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the lives that you're about to change in this church meeting, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the, for the, for the bodies that you, that you will heal, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word that we're about to receive, Lord. And let your word fall upon good ground, Lord, and take root in our heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen.
And I get all that to remind the church we have the evening services. And prayer and prayer begin at 5 30. Services will begin at 6. Mr. Allen, please bless the offer. Lord, thank you for being a good to everyone. Thank you for the privilege to give. The Lord is blessing me right now. Thank you, 
praise the Lord. Let me direct your attention to 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 1 through 23, and then John 10 and 10. Praise God. First book of Samuel, uh, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1, King James Version. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore, hearken thou unto the voice of the word, words of the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalekat Amal 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 did to Israel. Now he made way for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spur, not, spur them not, but slay both men and woman and infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. And Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Tehem, 200,000 footmen and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to cry, came to, came to, a, to a city of Amalek and lay wait in the valley. And Saul said unto the Canaanite, uh, Go depart, get ye down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For ye, for ye showed, showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Canaanites departed from the Amalekites. And Saul spoke the Amalekites from Hebron unto, to, and unto thou coming to Shur, Shushan. This is over against Egypt. And he took Agai, the king of the Amalekites, alive, and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agai, Agai and the men. Agai he and the men. Agai Who else? What and else? the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatlings and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them, but everything that was vowed and refused, that they destroyed utterly. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he has turned, turned back from following me and has not performed my commandment. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. And when Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning, it was told Samuel, saying, Saul came, came to Gerar, and behold, he set him up a place, and is gone about and passed on, and gone down to Gilead. And Samuel came to Saul, and, said, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou the Lord, I have performed the commandments of the Lord. And Samuel said, What meaneth then? this beating of sheep in my ears, and the lowing of the ox which I hear. And Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites for the people sparing the best of the sheep and of the ox to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the rest will, will, will he utterly destroy. Then said unto the Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord has said to me this night. And he said unto him, Stay on. And Samuel said, When thou wast little in thy own eyes, was thou not made, made the head of the tribe of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore did thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but did thou fly for the fall? and did evil in the sight of the Lord. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the word of the Lord, and have gone the way which the Lord sent me. And he brought Agai the king of the Amalekites, and he had utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took the spoils, sheep and oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the, unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. And Samuel said, Have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice, and in obedience, obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey 
is better than sex to hearken directly than the fact of the rain. For rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, has he also rejected thee from being king. St. John, the 10th chapter and the 10th verse, King James Verse. The thief cometh not but for to kill, and to kill, to do steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I come that you might have life, and that might be have it more abundant. Yes. May the Lord have a blessing to read the of this word. Amen. I want to speak on this subject, the fullness of life.
but it seems like he got caught up in himself. Come on, right? All right. Amen. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes we try to act like we're God, uh -huh. but we are not God. All right. God is God all by himself. Somebody shout out to God. Thank the Lord. He's God all by himself.
But rebellion is like witchcraft. When you disobey God, you might as well get you one of them things in this start. What do you call them things? Crystal ball. Hello? I'm talking about witchcraft. You rebel against God. Amen. God placed a high premium on when you simply obey God.
And I praise God for kids that are born on a Pentecostal people, live for God, never had to struggle with alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs, or Amen. fornication. I just, Amen. Amen. God saved me, but there's still some scars on me. He picked me up out of the muck and the miry clay, but I got me up. I had to obey him. Amen. Yes, yes. I had to repent of my sins. Yes, yes. I had to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I had to get receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. Not tie my tie. Well, but I'm I'm talking about a heavenly language. Yes, yes. There are times in your walk with God. When you become so self-centered, you need to fall on your face and talk, praying to God and talk in tongues. Yes, yes. And ask God to help you yes. not to be so self-centered. Yes. I do not want to miss out on the fullness of life. Amen. Yes. This life is like a vapor. Hello? We here today, and we gone, even the same day. Yeah. Well, Amen. Good day gone That's right, preacher. It's not tomorrow. Uh huh. But we're here today. Yeah. And we can be gone today. That's right. That's why it's so important not to be self-centered, but do it God's way. All the way. There is the fullness of life. The three Hebrew boys, they had the opportunity to bow, but they refused to bow. They decided to do it God's way. Yes, yes. You know what happens when you do it God's way? I don't care what you're going through in life, and you just decide to do it God's way, you're going to show up. Yes. Show up. Amen. Yes. Praise God. He's going to show up. Show up. Not only show up, he showed out, didn't he? Amen. Yes. 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 He said, I see. Wasn't it three thrown in the fire furnace? I've seen four and one that's like it. What a prophecy. Like the Son of God. The Lord showed up. Showed up. Hello. Amen. Amen. Simply because they done it God's way. Yes. Daniel. Throw it in the lion's den. For doing it God's way. For doing it God's way. Hello? And the Lord, all by himself, shut up the mouth of the lion. Hello? Amen. Simply because Daniel was doing it God's way. Amen. And when you do it God's way, hey. here comes Amen. the fullness of life. Amen. Will you clap your hands in the Lord? I want the fullness of life, hallelujah. He can't have to shut up. I want the fullness of life. Anybody around here want the fullness of life? Why don't you stand to your feet and begin to worship the Lord? Thank the Lord. I want the fullness of life. I want everything that God has for me. Jesus. 
us in Jesus' name. We can live according to Christ's will and follow his lead and listen for his choice, his voice. Or we can refuse and choose today to live God's way. Which leads to what? The fullness of life by choosing God's way. I'm so thankful at the age of 27 years old, I discovered God's way. Come on, preacher, preach. Yes. Yes, Lord. I left a lot of things behind. Go ahead, preacher. Hello? Uh huh. Choosing God's way. Yes, Lord. I have to leave a lot of things behind. But it's the best life. It's the best life. That I have ever had. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Amen. Going to God's way. Yes. If you clap it's the best life. If you clap your throat, shut up, shut up. Let's sit and go with God's way. I don't believe it. I made up in my mind a long time ago after coming to the Lord. As a dope addict, I asked the question, what must I do to be saved? And he spoke to a preacher. And this was God's way. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And that evidence is talking in a heavy language, talking in tongue, as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Let me tell you this Saul started off right. He did it God's way for a little while. Uh -huh. Then he got caught up, self-centered. Uh -huh. And it begins to be all about him and not about God. And he lost out. He lost out simply because of partial obedience. Partial obedience is simply disobeying God and God liking it to witchcraft. Hello, I'm just telling you. That's true. I, God's going to hold us accountable. The key to your success in this life is not you being self-centered, but simply being God. Amen, amen, amen. Choose that path to obey God. I challenge anyone. You start obeying God this six months and then look in the mirror and look at your life. And see how I'm going to change. They're simply obeying God. With everything. Would you stand? <laughs> Some of us are to get to the place.
to experience the real fullness of life. Yes, sir. Your money can't give you that. Amen. Your things can't give you that. Amen. The fullness of life is peace, yeah. joy. He's a thief. Yeah. He's a liar. Yeah. And if he can get you to the place that's simply the partial obey God, he got you. He got you where he wants you because he know that he's going to end up in the lake of fire and he's going to have company. Let every head bow and every eye closed. Don't leave here today without making things right with God. The Lord spoke to you, amen. Don't wait for me to call you to the altar. Don't look at nobody else. Don't leave out here. Don't leave out here. I gotta do it God's way, hallelujah, not my way. I gotta do it God's way, not my way. Stop being so self-centered. Come on, let go, let go and let God. I gotta stop being so self-centered. I hear Come on, the Holy Ghost is in here right now. God want to help us. It's up to you. 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 Come on, sinner. Come on, surrender. Come on, it's up to you. It's up to you. Come on, the presence of God here. God want to fill somebody with the Holy Ghost right now. It's up to you. It's up to you.
God's going to help you. He can't get a boy, Yanaba. God's going to help you. He can't get a boy, Yanaba. Come on, God's going to help you. He can't get a boy, Yanaba. I'm going to do it God's way. Come on. He can't get a boy, Yanaba. 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 He can't get a boy, Oh, yeah, my God. 